How close were you and ODB? Oh man, he's a great brother, man. You know what I mean? But there was like, I feel like there were certain kind of clicks within Wu Tang, like you know, right. obviously like. But that could rain that, ghost. That could oh, that could change. Saying. That could change, like. You know what I mean? It all depends. You can see Ray and Ghost tonight, but then you might see Ghost and Dirty another night. You might see, you know, me and Ray, or you know, it, 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 the styles can, uh, you know, switch, switch, and uh, it's forever interchangeable. You know what I mean? ODB always, I felt, had a kind of a struggle with substance abuse. Mm. I interviewed his son, okay, young dirty bastard. All right. And he told me a story on camera that was really pretty, pretty serious. What do you think was some of your most memorable moments of your father? Hmm. I say this yourself. Well, the most memorable moment was the last time I was with him. You know, because I I gathered all that energy. Like a lot of the clan members was around. It was like the the fire and the phoenix was in the ashes and it was leaving his body. So that was the last time we was in the studio and it came here. So you actually got to hang out with ODB in the studio with the rest of Wu-Tang? Uh, we was kind of hanging out. He was smoking a lot of drugs. <laughs> so he got it, the last time he was here, he got as high as he could ever get. And how soon after that did he pass? Uh, that night. <laughs> he got as really? high as he could ever get. And he told me to sit there and watch him. Eye to eye, we did that. And then that was it. I mean, do you think School it was, it was PCP girls. possibly? <laughs> PCP. PCP make you get naked, right? Well, it make you do a lot of stuff. And then later on, he died from, I guess, an overdose. Yeah, that's serious. That's serious. Wow. That's something. And that's clearly something he's still carrying around. Oh, he'll have that with him for the rest of his life, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, that was his father. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know if that was a personal moment. I don't know who else was there with them. You were but, there. No, I wasn't he said other there. other members, but you you weren't there. No, I wasn't there. Um, you know that you know the night when he passed away, um, me and Jezza happened to be you know playing chess. We was together playing chess when we got the call. You know, and um, that was my recollection of it. So you know whatever happened prior, you know, I'm not sure. But seeing that, that's that's heavy, man. How did you feel when you got the call? You know, at first when you hear something like that, you know, knowing, you know, your brother Dirty, you know, he's always been going through different chambers and things. So at first, when you hear something like that, especially when you think about the individual, I was hoping that it was a prank or just another, you know, dirty antic to, you know. Right, because at one point he got shot. Right, right. He got shot. You know, I've, I've heard those stories, and yeah. okay, then you see him, and it's, it's like yeah. there's nothing, nothing to happen. You know what I mean? But it was real. But um, yeah, so I was just hoping that <clears throat> it would be another situation where it wasn't as serious as it was. O O D B was such a such an interesting character in hip hop. Mm -hmm. well, were you there at the was it the, the MTV Awards? Um, I was there. Which, but I wasn't. which award ceremony was it? Was it the Grammys? <laughs> See, I forget what it was, but you know, I wasn't. You know, I remember. I remember it. Way before Kanye, bum rush Taylor Swift. Yeah. Y'all was bum rushing the Grammy yeah. stage, I mean, that's, <laughs> saying Puffy is cool, yeah. but Wu Tang is the best. Yeah, man, that's who he was, man. He was going, you know. Like he had his song, Ooh Baby, I Like It Raw. <laughs> you was gonna get it straight, no chasing, man. You know what I mean? I interviewed Capadonna. I mean, Dirty basically even said it himself, but he, he bought that suit. You know, Dirty from Brooklyn, man. And even on even on his documentary that Ray Son shot, if you look it up, you know, there's a, there's a clip with ODB way in the back of the crib and up under all the clothes and he sleep. Right up in there, and, that, and there was no better place for him to be. That was his comfort zone, man. You know you know how they say you could take somebody out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the person? That was dirty, man. So it's like even though he had that suit on, it's like he was going to rush that stage regardless. Because, yo, I'm in the house. You know how it is when Brooklyn is in the house, man. Right, right, right. I, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> But knowing you know, ODB though, 
knowing him, you know, if he if, if that was the case, he expected to win something. <laughs> if he got if he did all of that and got dressed up and everything, he expected to win. Were you there when ODB grabbed the bike from Biggie? Nah. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Then Biggie kind of became his hype man after that? I can't remember. Since he was such a fan yeah, of, of yeah. ODB? I never heard that story. <laughs> nah. nah. What would you say is your greatest ODB memory? Oh, Just the man. most memorable shit that you've seen ODB do. Because, you know, I remember, I forgot who it was that I interviewed Tom about how ODB got into a wrestling match with Akinelli. Him and Akinelli, you know what I'm saying? For those who remember Akinelli, you know, he had the song, Go Put It In Your Mouth. He used to say Dirty took his style. You know, he's, a, he's the first one that had that wild, like, drunken monk type style. And, you know, when you look at Akinelli in the beginning, he did kind of, him and Dirty were kind of similar, you know what I'm saying? But um, I remember them being at the same show, being, you know, he, he's kind of the same way, man. They both didn't want to relent on who's going to get the mic and who's going to rock the crowd. So they wound up fighting for the mic in front of the crowd on the stage, like literally on the floor, laying in drinks, all types of shit. Like Dirty and Akinelli fighting for the mic or some who who's the master of that that dirty style. Were you there for that? I probably was there for that. I don't know if that I don't know I don't know exactly um where we was at, but it it feels like I remember something like that. But okay. that wasn't, you know, man. I mean, some of my best memories of, of 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 my brother, man, is seeing him in the studio working, man. Seeing him lay down a song like Raw High mm. from his album. You know, right. you a crossbreed, I'm a knowledge seed, I want action, that's what I need. You know, seeing him lay that down live, seeing his creative juices flowing to 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 you know to deliver something to the world that's you know to see him do it live was some of my greatest you know memories of my brother man he showed really what an MC is supposed to be you know yeah and he was one of these type of rappers you couldn't really copy his style like, yeah, like he said, you you were no one was gonna try to sound like old dirty. Like, like he said, there's no father to my. Yeah, that's that. Hence the name, old dirty bastard. Exactly. 